Hey, what's up? It's Matt Japan. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're taking a look at from Transformers Legacy United. This is Infernic Universe Boulder Crash. Let's take a quick look at the packaging. As always, we do have a very cool image of Boulder Crash in his bike mode there. Taco Tome Generations logo, United logo on the top, Transformers down the side. You see him in the open packaging there. Transformers Legacy United, Infernac Universe Boulder Crash on the side. We do see he's in core class. You get the same image there. We have some product info on the bottom. On the side, we have a very cool 40th anniversary Transformers uh, image there of some newer revealed figures and such. So very, very cool. On the back, we have lots of text and a very small product image of Boulder Crash there. He converts in 10 steps to his very cool looking robot mode. And we are doing armorizers now, not weaponizers, but this guy can basically be used uh, with other figures as a weapon. So armorizers, not weaponizers. Yeah, without further ado, let's bust open Boulder Crash. See how cool he is. All right, here we have Boulder Crash out of the package. Let's take a quick look at his details. First and foremost, let's take a look at the head sculpt. Very, very cool. You have some red paint for the visor. You have almost like a, a dark pink, sort of champagne metallic paint for the um, the face mask there. And overall, I think the head sculpt came out really, really cool. And it's nice, there's no hollowness on the back. It's, a, it's very solid. And just all over the figure, I love the sort of the lava, the molten lava kind of flowing through the whole figure there. And just like the, the rock detail is very well done. Really cool details. It's like little indents and, and parts like that. And again, on the legs there, you see that sort of lava flowing through. Very, very cool. You see the wheels for bike mode on the side of his feet. Um, but that's about it as far as his um, robot mode. There's not a lot of, um, you know, there are some hollowness and there's not a lot of paint on this guy. It's just done that sort of, you know, down here on his forearms, it's a sort of reddish clay. And then up here is sort of a darker brown, but not a whole lot of paint. But I do think this sort of lava flow here does break up the figure a little bit. Um, I don't really like this big honk of plastic, you know, coming out of his butt there. Um, it's nice because you can kind of hold it and have him flying through the air. But, you know, when you're trying to pose him, it does look, it does look a bit unsightly. So, um, anyways, for a quick uh, comparison, here we have Iguanas there. So, they scale, you know, as far as a core goes, I think Iguanas, Iguanas stands a little bit taller. But there's a quick comparison. There's some core class figures there. So taking Iguanas out. And the one accessory he does come with is this little sort of blade. And this is also very well painted. You get some really dark maroon sort of lava paint on the front there. And the rest is done that sort of brown that we saw on Boulder Crash. And we do have a little bit more paint there. And again, you see that sort of lava flow. So yeah, it's very consistent in its design and uh, very nice sculpt work on both the figure and the the figure itself and he has a five millimeter uh, sorry a three millimeter port like all core class figures do and you can basically just plug his weapon in like so and have him hold it so it's actually a pretty pretty big blade there but it's pretty very cool actually very nice i like that a lot so yeah that is about it for robot mode okay let's check out the articulation for boulder crash here let's take start the head here we have uh his head is on a ball joint there and it can go the full 360 like that and you get a little bit of side to side movement up and down, not a whole lot. You have ball joints on the shoulders there, so you can go all the way around. And it goes out that far, you have ball joints at the elbow, you get a 90 degree at the elbow, nothing at the wrist, those are all just molded in. You do have a waist swivel, um, although it is hindered a little bit. So it can, yeah, it's a very slight waist swivel. I don't think it goes all the way around. You can get it maybe about 180 in each direction, so not a whole lot. Again, this gets hindered by this back piece here. Um, hips are on ball joints there, so he can do the splits that far, he can kick back that far, he can kick forward that far, he has a 90, a little bit over 90 at the knee, and there's absolutely no articulation at the feet, that is all just one molded piece right there. So as far as articulation goes, a little bit limited for a core class figure, but we're pretty much used to that with these little guys here. So yeah, anyways, let's get this guy transformed into his bike mode, see what he looks like. All right, here we have Boulder Crash in his vehicle mode. Let's check out the details here. Uh, very interesting three-wheeler bike mode. You can pretty much tell where everything goes here. You get some nice detail on the front of the wheels there. And again, just more of that really cool rock formation 
uh, molded detail all over the place. And you do see his weapon just kind of slaps on top there. And that's about it. You do have the five millimeter uh, peg hanging out the back there. And I'll show you how you do, how you change them into the armorizer in a sec. But for the most part, yeah, it's, um, I don't know, it, it's, I really like the Iguanas, and this is, I like the fact that he can roll on three wheels, um, where his Iguanas, you know, he was bringing in Iguanas just for a, a quick comparison. There was no uh, kickstand on Iguanas, so he was never able to actually stand up. So that does have it going for it. The fact that it has three wheels and it can stand up. I was always kind of peeved that this didn't have it, some sort of something they could have implemented for this guy to stand up. But anyways, there is a quick comparison between Iguanas and Boulder Crash. They're about the same size in vehicle mode. Maybe Boulder Crash has a little bit more has a little bit more bulk to them. But yeah, that's how they look side by side. So taking away Iguanas and yeah, so basically to get him into his armorizer mode, all you want to do is flip this back and then this becomes the uh, peg for the five millimeter. You know, any other bigger figure can hold them. I don't have anything on hand right now, but uh, basically another bot can hold. That just like so, like we did see on the back of the box here. Let's bring that back in, there it is. So you can have a bigger bot holding Boulder Crash for a weapon, so pretty cool. And then when you want to change it back, just fold it back like that. And that's about it. So yeah, overall, um, not crazy about the, um, I don't know, either mode I'm not too crazy about. This is just an okay figure for me, but yeah. So that is it for the vehicle mode. And let's pause and get into my final thoughts. Okay, so the final thoughts for Infernic Universe Boulder Crash here. This figure is just okay. Um, it definitely doesn't hit the mark like Iguanas did for me. Iguanas was an amazing core class figure. It had the paint, it had the sculpt work, it had the detail, the transformation was fun. And uh, overall, just a great figure. Probably one of the best core class figures that we've, we've seen in recent years. Boulder Crash just does not do it for me. Um, I think part of the reason is, you know, maybe the lack of paint. Uh, I don't, I'm not even bothered by that. It's just this big, uh, piece here in the back it just gets I know they need it for transformation but I think this could have been engineered engineered without this piece here it just seems to get in the way it is nice for posability because you know it's something to kind of lean back on um, and I, I think they do need it to to have the, um, the armorizer gimmick but I, I think it really takes away from the figure having just that big thing in the uh, in the back if you didn't have that I think it would be a lot better um, other than that, I mean, I think it's a cool, it's a cool look and I love the sculpt work and everything. And I do like the sort of molten lava kind of running through the figure. And the head sculpt is amazing as well. But for me, it's just an okay figure. So definitely compared to Iguanas, it does not stack up. Anyways, this has been the video review for Transformers Legacy United Infernec Universe of Boulder Crash. This has been Matt in Japan. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for more great content. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.